Now we are going to start creating the configuration for our lights. Go to here to view and in camera I have two cameras or more cameras but you have to, to have only one camera. So search for the camera that you have. If you have activated this lock camera to view but is if it's activated, you can move the camera to adjust your angle and when it's ready, disactivate it to lock the camera. Go to the camera settings and this is going to show you all your camera settings. I use the camera focal length in 35 if you make a zoom to the face, maybe you need to change this number because it's going to deform too much the angle. So maybe you, you need to use a 15, 50 number or more high number. Go to the render and I add a new windows and change to cheddar editor and word. So Press Ctrl T in the background add, add in the background node. I'm going to show, show you where you can download HDR for free. In this case, I use this this studio. When you press Ctrl T, you will have all these nodes immediately. So in the image you change you change the image for with the HDR, HDR that you download because we are in the world so we are adjusting the parameter of the world not the material the strength is for the HDR I use a low number of HDR because I use I use it only or most for for reflections but I want to create a light by my own. I hide the camera because it was disturbing me in the viewport. Here we have an aerial light. With Shift A light, you will add more lights and you will add the area light. But in the right, you have all the options of light, like point, sun, spot, and area. I use one in the right and one in the left and I'm going to test the numbers of the power I'm going to duplicate this and use use for illuminating above behind of the character I have a point light so I'm going to increase the number to test the, the look this light is going to illuminate the face that is the most important in in a character this light is the point light this is going to be like the ring light for the character, like a border of light in the character. This is going to highlight our character. You can change the color of the color that you want. But this is going to to change the mood of your scene so you need to use the color that you want for your style or the look that you want in the right I use a more hot color in this case was too much and change all the colors so I don't I didn't want that so I decrease the power to 5 And then I use 10 and it's looking great. I'm 
I'm going to down a little this light just to this and you don't have to put too much light because you will like expose much, much or burn, burn the colors with you black white light so we don't want that so make sure that you don't put too much light and start erasing erasing the character with too much light if you press f12 you will start rendering Now I'm just testing or checking how it looks everything, the hair, the hair in the clothes, the texture, the everything that you need to check. Just a test render. I'm going to the camera and go to the hair. Change your curve serve segment because it's, this is going to smooth a little more the curve because this is going to show you the hair like more tubes or more smooth because if you don't do it you will have some kind of rear texture in the render. And you can see now that they are perfectly tube, like real hair. I'm going to the material of the hair and decrease the roughness like I said before in other video. This is going to give us a more tiny hair because it was too opaque. Here I'm just testing how it looks because I want more tiny hair.
and changing a little the color or testing more light green here I'm just testing testing how it's look with other color but finally I decided for the green I'm going to decrease a little the amount of hair in the teacher because it was too much and it started looking like too messy or dirt. So I want more clean looking in the teacher. So this is a pers personal preference of how many hair do you want in each pieces. We are in the end of this video and you can see now that this is everything that I did for the light, there is no other trick. This is super simple because I want to resolve the, the character and nothing more. I'm not expert in light so I use the basic to make a great work and great looking for our character. So I see you in the next video.